And then one of the last things you, you were talking about, lung health and making sure to vape over smoke. Um, could you talk to us a little bit too about temperature? So if we're choosing to vape or we have a setting on the battery, and I know you've, you've preached this to our students, talk to us a little bit about temperature. Yeah, so ideally with all things, I mean, you can look up the, the temperature at which each cannabinoid volatilizes. Um, so they all have a different vol volatile or volatilization point. So when they go from liquid to gas, basically. Um, and most of them, you know, generally that's why I like things like a um, volcano. And no, I'm not paid by volcano, but it's, it, you can set the temperature, you know the temperature of what you're vaporizing, and you can do it just to the point that you know all of the terp The terpenes are going to volatilize at much lower temperatures. They're tiny weight, and I'm going to get to that in a little bit, but the weight of the molecules is really small. They're volatile, and therefore it doesn't take that, it's not that hot. It's like 150 degrees Fahrenheit will vaporize most of the terpenes. But the cannabinoids are a little bit heavier. It takes a little bit higher heat. Um, CBD and THC, you can correct me if I'm wrong on this tray, but I believe they're both around between 300 and 350 Fahrenheit is a, is roughly where, where um, I think THC and CBD are both volatilized. So having a, a temperature dial where you can dial it in and not go higher than that is important because otherwise you're just going to have partial combustion and you're going to over, you're essentially kind of over burning it. You're not getting any addi additional medical or psychoactive effects, you're just overdoing it and kind of burning what you want instead of having it vaporize at that particular temperature. Um, so that's what I recommend. The lower temperature, the better, as long as you know that it's high enough to actually get the constituents out. And, and um, somebody that we uh, need back up, a lower temperature is going to give you better flavor. A lot of times make that cart last longer. You're not going to give that huge plume of, of vape, uh, that, of uh, vapor that you might normally have, but your, your temperature will be better and it's better on your lungs. So if you find yourself, when you vape, you feel like your, your throat's really raw or it makes you cough a lot, turn down the temp and, and, and try that. Also, you and I both know a respiratory therapist that you work with and she's forever saying, hey, make sure to, if you're going to use a bong, put some ice in it, right? If you're going to use a vape, just maybe, um, or if you use a pipe, increase the distance between your mouth and what is burning because our lungs are meant to humidify and cool air because our lungs don't do well with hot air. So those are some great things that you brought up. I just wanted to make sure to emphasize before we moved on to the next point. Yeah, and I'll piggyback off of just one of those things. That's the other thing is that when you're finding your throat or your respiratory tract, your lungs are really irritated, you're coughing a lot, you've essentially already damaged those tissues. That's what's causing that is an inflammatory reaction. You've killed off some cells. Your body's creating a lot more mucus to try to protect those tissues. So you've already essentially injured yourself temporarily. It's not going to be what kills you, but being aware of that because with almost all disease, it's the chronic habitual things, the chronic habitual damage over and over and over and over over time that causes things like cancer cells to arise. Um, so it should be pretty smooth. It shouldn't really hurt. Um, another thing is you don't need to hold it in very long, <laughs> you know, like no more than I think it's about three seconds or less you're not at that point, you're not absorbing any more cannabinoids. Um, you're not going to get any higher. You're just going to be absorbing, especially if you're smoking more of those toxic, um, incomplete combusted compounds. And they've actually done studies that show that the serum concentration of those byproducts that can be carcinogenic are higher when people hold it longer, but their actual serum concentration of THC and CBD is not higher after like, I think it's three seconds or so to it. You just Inhale it, hold it very briefly and exhale. And you don't need to inhale all the way full to the bottom of anything. Take a little sip of air, then take a little bit of the cannabis and then more air to push it down to the bottom where you absorb the most and then just immediately blow it out. You don't it, like this idea that you have to inhale as much as possible all at once and hold and hold and hold. You're again, you're actually going to damage your lung capacity that way. And, and that's a great point because, you know, we're going to work and, and our students are going to work with so many people who are real rookies and, um, and so, as we know, if somebody has a bad first experience with cannabis, they're not likely to come back. And that might mean that they go back to opiates or go try some kind of medicine that's more 
dangerous for them. So I'm really glad that you mentioned that. Um, I certainly grew up hearing people say, oh, you got to hold it a long time or the more you cough, you get off. And certainly, you know, hold your breath a long time with no cannabis in your lungs and you're going to get a head rush. And I right. think that's what a lot of people are contributing that head rush to uh, a higher effect or, or some kind of super high from the cannabis. So it's just a head check. We, you know, during prohibition, we learned a lot of messaging that just wasn't right from the government and from our friends. And sometimes it was well-meaning and sometimes it was meant to scare us. So, but that's something coming from a doctor we want everybody to be aware of. Three seconds, y'all. And, and after that, you're just kind of wasting your time and, and challenging your lungs by, by creating pressure that, uh, that is unnecessary.